Hi, I hope you're well. So this morning's video is going to be a bit of a review of the hotel that I stayed in whilst I was in Dubai, along with a bit of a vlog style video so that you can see what I got up to um, and also assess whether you feel like the hotel that I stayed in would be right for you. So let's just jump straight into it. We actually landed into Dubai at quarter past nine in the morning on Wednesday. So when we got to the hotel, we weren't sure whether the room would be ready, but we thought we'd just go and see anyway. So they took our bags from us straight away in the lobby and we made our way up to reception. Now she did double check, um, but she said the room wasn't quite ready. She said, come back to the reception in an hour and um, she'd see if it was ready. And if it was, then we could have it early. But me being me and wanting to make the most out of the few days that we had in Dubai, I'd already planned and booked a beach club. So we made our way up to the top floor where the um, rooftop swimming pool is. And there are some showers and changing facilities up there. So we just got changed into our swimwear and into our beach club um, attire and we made our way over to Sand Beach. There's a concierge desk um, down on the ground floor and they will sort out a taxi for you. Um, the one thing to note is they will try to sell you their hotel car and they say oh it's 100 AD for wherever you want to go because it happens to us a couple of times. Uh, it's cheaper to take a taxi so I just said um, I'm all right thanks. He did try and tell me that it would be 90 AD for for the same journey in a taxi, so there wasn't much of a difference, but it, it wasn't, there is quite a difference. I think it was like half the price. So just be mindful of that. But obviously it depends where you're going. So we took quite a lot of trips over to the Palm. So this is where Sun Beach was. Beautiful beach club the most like aesthetically pleasing I would say and it was perfect because these lounges were just so thick um, and obviously I'd been flying and yeah I'd managed to get a bit of a sleep on the plane but um, it didn't stop me having a bit of a, a snooze on the lounger. So it cost around £50 for a sun bed for the day per person and I think I probably spent around £50 on food and drink as well. So I had a couple of drinks while I was there, one alcoholic, non-alcoholic. This is the food. Oh my goodness, this food was beautiful. So I had a Greek salad and a burrata. That burrata to share with my friend was, it was 10 out of 10, one of our favourite foods. I think we actually went on to have burrata a couple of times after that because it was so good. Loved it. Um... So one of the best meals there for me, to be fair, but we didn't eat out at night, but I'll come to that. Um, then I was woken up by the saxophone player. I'll just leave you with him for a little second. <laughs> You can get a sunbed on the beach or you can get a sunbed around the pool. I think they're a little bit cheaper on the beach and it's still a really beautiful vibe. Now we stayed here till late, you can see we there with the, the sun was setting. If you want an aesthetic, relaxing day with great food and perfect service, then Sun Beach is definitely the one. In terms of value, it's not the best value because um, you don't get any of your sunbed spend back on food or drinks. But, you know, £100 for, I suppose we were there like going on 10 hours. I, I don't think it was too bad and we don't go out and eat in the evening really. We're more um, of making the most of the day, stay out all day and then just chill. Um, in the evening so I felt like I was actually saving a little bit of money because the restaurants um, that I was seeing on TikTok when I was going on their website they were like a £200 minimum spend and I'm just not not up for that. The hotel is the Paramount Midtown Dubai it's right by the Burj Khalifa um, literally you could walk to the mall if you wanted to. Now for some people this location is going to be great. For us it wasn't so great because we spent so much time at the beach club so we were in taxis 
numerous times a day and the Dubai traffic, let me tell you, is no joke. Dubai traffic means that your 20 minute journey will be doubled and it's not a comfortable journey because the driving is aggressive. They are swerving in and out of lanes, like cutting in, stop, start, stop, start. I had to close my eyes for like every journey that we had back because I just couldn't deal with it. I needed to block out what was happening. So that is just something to know. If you are looking to be at the beach clubs, then maybe the marina or the palm might be a better area for you. As I mentioned, this is the Paramount Midta Midtown Hotel. I didn't put two and two together beforehand and realised that Paramount is actually as in like Paramount Pictures, the film type thing. So there is um, theming around the hotel, but it's really like gentle theming. It's not in your face whatsoever. Um, so you can see as we walk through here, I think there's a picture on the wall of Charlie Chaplin. Um, but it's really like muted colours. It's done really classy. Everywhere is so clean. It's great. So as we come into the room, on your right is your bathroom or on our right was our bathroom. Beautiful big bath massive shower it's like a wet room type thing so that's something to be mindful of um, but it is kind of self-contained the water stays within that area so when you're at the sink and stuff you're not going to be getting um wet feet and yeah that bathroom just it was really big it was spacious it was nice same with the room really so what i would say is it's very minimalistic so if you are a fan of clutter or you like things you know i walked in and i was looking for um like a booklet to see about like the menu for um room service or you know anything really that they offer there's none of that it's all on the tally so if you're a fan of um like actually having things in the room uh, then maybe this isn't one for you like i mentioned i'm a bit of a room service gal so to be fair when we go to greece um and like Spain then I do try and make it out for a meal but in Dubai I just felt like I wanted to spend my money elsewhere and I know we were really close to the mall so maybe I could have made more opportunity of it but I was quite happy at getting in like half eight ordering some room service taking a bath and getting into bed ready for the day ahead now in terms of entertainment um there weren't many TV channels that I would watch, or there weren't any, to be honest. I couldn't find Netflix on there, but that might just be me not being very um, tech savvy. But we did find YouTube, so um settled into a bit of Simon Wilson's YouTube videos, our travel videos are just elite. Um, so that's how we entertained ourselves in the evening. But we kept our days so packed full um, that I just didn't feel like I needed to go out and do more in the evening. I was quite satisfied having been out all day just to chill. So we paid for breakfast with our room cost. The room cost was, it was just under £800 I want to say and that was for Wednesday night, Thursday night, Friday night and Saturday night. We actually flew home Saturday night but we didn't leave till midnight so we kept the room so that we could sleep before the flight uh, which actually turned out to be a good idea. But now I look back in hindsight, it was a huge waste for us to get this breakfast because it added quite a lot onto the room cost, to be honest. And we only ate breakfast on um, Thursday morning and Saturday morning. And I'd seen some really good reviews about this breakfast. And, you know, I guess that there was stuff there for everybody. But... I, for me, I don't, it just, I don't know, it didn't, it missed the mark a little bit. I left Thursday morning pretty chilled because I felt like, you know, we would have been travelling the day before and I'd booked like straight into a beach club. So I thought, leave them on a spare and maybe go to the mall anyway. We didn't make it to the mall. We had a lie-in, went down for breakfast and then before we knew it, it was time to get the taxi over to the palm because, um, like I say, I was only factoring in maybe like a 20 minute journey and it, it they ended up being I don't know like 45 minutes so this beach club was right at the start of the palm Jumeirah 5 palm hotel 
and their beach club is called Praia and this was for Ladies Day so it was on a Thursday and I want to say that I paid around £35 per person. Now if you want a party and you want good value this offers it. The drinks are unlimited for four hours so it's 12 until four unlimited drinks they are really attentive you get like a platter of food included in that cost as well um which and it was it was nice it was perfectly fine you don't get a bed with this one but you get a table that you can be situated at for the day and you are able to go down to the beach or up to the pool and you can see it was a it was a nice vibe i wondered if i'd be a little bit too old at 32 but um i wasn't i, I felt okay and again they had a saxophone player up there I feel like when we left at five o'clock, it was just starting to like kick off, like the party was really starting. Um, but that was time for me to bow out. I wanted to go and experience sunset at our hotel swimming pool. And back at the hotel, this was the pool. And this is kind of what sold it to me because I was looking at another um, like sky pool in Dubai and they only had front row sunset few beds left for the day that um, I wanted and we were looking at over £300 per person and I was just like that's so much money for sun lounger to watch the sunset so um when I saw the pool that this hotel had I was like yes that's where we're going it had views of the Burj Khalifa I was able to get a bed up there quite easily they had a bar up there so we had an Aperol whilst we were watching the sun setting and the lights come out having a bit of a swim it was such a nice atmosphere and honestly I felt so content in that moment and <laughs> um, you can have like an afternoon tea and things up there as well it, it was really nice and you know if you want to stay in that in the mall area or around the Burj Khalifa this is a it's a great hotel I really don't have any like gripes to be honest last stop to my phone at oh, 48 minutes past midnight it's now just gone for a so I hope it's a good morning. Friday we had the most wonderful early start. Um, we were getting picked up at five o'clock because we were going on a hot air balloon and this was a lovely experience. We'd been to Fort Aventura in November and we'd hired like desert buggy things there um, and had driven those around the island. So I put to my friend, maybe we try something a little bit different. Um, it cost 280 AD for this experience, but it really was an experience. Um, I loved it. So we were picked up by our guide and he stayed with us for the duration of the like tour. We were the first ones to be picked up and then we picked up two of the families along the way. So when we got there, we were greeted with coffee. And I can't remember the speciality coffee um but anyway we um, why can't i remember um, arabic maybe anyway so we were greeted with coffee and then were asked to take a seat so they had like um pillows set out on the floor ready to watch this drone show so i've never seen anything like this before actually and the drones were depicting scenes that we might experience through the day like the camels and the land rovers and um, they had like a be a hero slogan and they you know put that up into the sky anyway the children in our group seemed really enamored by that then our pilot Orlando who was from Italy originally was so passionate about hot air balloons he gave us a bit of a rundown and asked for four volunteers to get into the basket to weight it down a little bit so um there I was you kind of like <laughs> I don't know you have to hold on but you're lying like off my back was like supported by a basket because like baskets like tipped on its side and in the middle of the basket there's like a section like a sectioning thing so my back was supported on that but then my neck was like hanging down and I've got like a dodgy neck anyway um and it felt like I was there for forever anyway 
it was beautiful. So my camera made it look like it was quite light, but it wasn't. The sun hadn't risen by the time um, we like were taking off. We'd had we were one of the last ones to get going. So around us we could see all these other balloons like taking flight. It was beautiful, especially when the sun came out. It was just stunning. Um, my friend here family like, oh, there wasn't really much to see there, was there? But I actually really enjoyed it. You know, I've not really been to um, a desert before and it was quite interesting to um, fly over a different landscape to see, you know, how they manage farming like crops and stuff. So they've got the sprinklers on all the time. So seeing that, um, there were like various animals that we saw like running through the sand and our pilot was just so knowledgeable and passionate. So that was another element to it. Um, and listening to the conversations with other um, pilots in other balloons because they're constantly communicating. It was a, it was a really good experience. One thing to note though, I had a like a crocodile clip in my hair when we were landing. Well, now I know why you're not supposed to wear them when you're driving because goodness, I'd like braced myself. The landing, everyone else seemed to think it was really funny, but I'd like not been supported properly because this clip cracked my head back, cracked the clip. Um, and had a bit of a headache. My friend was quite concerned actually. She was like, are you all right? And to be fair, it didn't hurt that much, but I could, I can definitely see now why don't wear those while you are driving. So that was uh, an amazing experience and I would highly recommend that if you get the opportunity to do that, then then go for it. it it's really good, um, like a once in a lifetime thing. Then we were picked up by these like Land Rovers. They took us to a place where you can go for breakfast. So like a camp setup really. And I'd already been recommended to go to somewhere like this um, by someone that I was speaking to on Instagram beforehand. It was amazing, absolutely amazing. Um, our groups were given tables like under shelter if, you know, if it was like later on in the year in the summer potentially. But because it was only February, we chose to sit outside. The breakfast was beautiful. Um, the service was lovely, so you go round and they'll offer you, you know, what's on their station. Anyway, there was such a variety of things available. Beautiful, can't recommend it enough. And I'll have to have a look if I can find where it was, because I think you, you know, you could go there without a group. Um, one of the people who was on our tour, she's a teacher in Dubai, and she was talking about you know, is this where you came with your school to her daughter? So you must be able to go there. Um, but anyway, wonderful experience. Highly recommend that. 10 out of 10. Brilliant. After we got back from the hot air balloon, we got back around 11 o'clock, did a quick change, and then we were off to a beach club again. So we went to the 305 this time. Excellent value this one is. So... You pay 450 AD for a day bed, so that was for me and my friend, and that 450 AD is completely redeemable. So you can either redeem it on the a la carte menu, or we went on a Friday, they had ladies day on, so if you are a lady, you could redeem it against the money that we paid for the bed. So ladies day for two of us was 350 AD. You get to pick some food, so they bring a menu, and it says like starters, but you can see we got a full on pizza and like these chicken tacos. Uh, the food was beautiful. You get five drinks as well, and I really enjoyed the drinks. They had like boba and they were nice. And we didn't actually get through the five drinks each either. And then um, we still had 100 AED on the balance so we use that to get a burrata because like I was saying I, I was really taken with them after the sand beach one. So this beach club is a chilled vibe. Next door was definitely more of a party atmosphere and when we were leaving around seven or some you know around that time next door they were still partying hard whereas ours was really quiet you can see now as we're leaving. The aesthetic was beautiful though I've heard that this is a new beach club um, and they're going with like a Barbie vibe. If you're looking for a chill day that's great value, the 305 is a really good option for that. I would definitely recommend. We're up 
early on Saturday to go to the Atlantis water park. I had originally bought tickets for this on attraction tickets, but then I saw a TikTok saying that if your birthday is like within seven days of your visit to the Atlantis water park, you can get in for free. Well, this was a true story. So thankfully the Atlantis, um, not the Atlantis, sorry, attraction tickets refunded what I paid because it was like £75 per person. So they refunded the tickets. I just had to take my passport to the Atlantis. You have to sign up beforehand and have like the email saying that you've qualified on your phone with you. And um, yeah, so I got in for free and you can take two guests in with you for 20% off that ticket as well. So it was definitely worth doing that. Now we got round the water park really quite quickly. It was only the last slide that we decided to go on, which we thought might be good. It goes through a shark tank, but it wasn't. So I don't keep for that. It wasn't great. Um, we managed to get round it really quickly. We were out by like half past one. The changing rooms in there are great. Little cubicles with a shower and changing like space in there. It was really, really good. And they had a hairdryer and stuff outside as well um, that you could use. So I got myself together and then we went off to um, a mall to pick up this perfume and then to the actual Dubai mall. Now, I don't know if I'd go back to the water park and I certainly wouldn't pay 75 AD to get in there because I feel like Cyan Park in Tenerife was elite like it just it just is elite I love that water park and it does pip it um, to be honest but you know maybe actually if you're traveling with young children then that water park would be great where that's where Cyan Park lacks I think it doesn't really cater for children, whereas the Atlantis does cater for children. So yeah, I mean, it depends who's in your party. So popped over to the small, got the perfume that I wanted to get and then went to the Dubai mall. Went to the Cheesecake Factory, never had one before. Wow. First of all, wow, the portions are absolutely massive. And the server, when I said that to her, she was like, are you full? And I was like, yeah. And I was like, these are massive. She said that was the small portion. So we've got this Korean chicken, amazing. And then like some starter type things. So um, lots of other dippers. They tater totters or something like that. They were amazing. I've never had them before. And there was definitely some like one or two other things as well. But anyway, I would rave about the food there. It was great and it was really good value as well. We got a cheesecake to take out with us as well because I was too full. But I was like, can't come to the Cheesecake Factory and not get a cheesecake. Wow, wow, the best, hands down, the best cheesecake I have ever tasted. Anyway, when I got back to the hotel, I slept then like six till 11.30 um, and then we got up Friday to check out around midnight and get a taxi to the airport because we had um, two legs to, to get through. We did Dubai to Antalya and then Antalya to... Manchester, which was a contrast from our business fight, business class fight that we'd taken on the way out there. So if you haven't seen that, there is a video on it. Um, but actually, to be fair, the flights home, they were they were absolutely fine. And I managed to sleep through them. I never sleep on flights, but I um, managed at this time. So thank you for watching this video and I hope to see you again. Bye.